Deep-sea divers do this on a trampoline every Sunday. doesn't seem to be a good idea. Over hasty wise. Rubbish. Old steam rubbish. The Metropolitan Transport Commission is a modern organization, Mr. Christian. We live in the world of hovercrafts, <laughs> not floating steam kettles. That hulk is 80 years old. It might be a good idea to preserve it. History wise. And of course, public relations wise. Mr. Christian, it's useless. That anachronism is finished. Rotten. Well, of course, anachronism Enough. wise. Enough. We sink it. My two girls want to run away from my home, eh? Gina, what for do you want to live with your papa? Papa, we just want to go for two weeks. Two and weeks? Don't bend Uncle Harry. We'll be looked after. Looked after? I hear this before, poor commissaire. Hey, Ben, you take this fish, give your papa, eh? Oh, yeah, thanks, Mr. Benita. He's a good boy. Here, yeah, hold this. You press this button here, you get the time in Singapore. Who do you know in Singapore? No one. That's not the point. I don't know. You go into city, you get a rope. You, you get a cat lived by the criminal, the underground. Underworld. Papa, it's not New York we're talking about. New York, don't talk to me. But you had a good watch. Why did I buy this one? The other one was old fashioned. I had it for five years. Can you imagine what Big Ben would be like if it was replaced every five years? Well, if it was replaced, it wouldn't be Big Ben, would it, Specs? Ah, oh, come on, Dad. There's nothing to do here in the school holidays. No, I just don't think it's a good idea. Mama says it's okay. Then he's all kind. Oh, thanks, Dad. He said yes. Just as well seeing your bags at my place. What's the matter? Couldn't you wait? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so, Honourable Minister, it is my deeply held conviction that we should sweep away all the rotting debris of these old ferries to make more space for our new fleet at the maintenance wall. To make space? Oh, I see. I've made comprehensive plans based on a detailed study of the new berthing facilities. And in order to publicize how I intend to develop the entire maintenance area, I've called a national press conference. Press conference? Press conference, eh? Yes. Newspapers, yes. radio, oh. television, yes. cinemascope. <laughs> now, Trotter, about this press conference of ours. And so we felt that in the interest of progress and the continuing prosperity of our state, that we should one and all look forward to the 21st century. And so, after much research and much consideration, I've decided to acquire a fleet of hovercraft from Germany, which will revolutionize the transport needs of the city. It is a decision of which this city can be justly proud. Mr. Davison, what time do you go to work? You see, dear, we won the lottery. 
Mr. Davidson doesn't go to work anymore. We have time to enjoy our lives. Watching daytime television. Today's announcement by the Maritime Transport Commission means that a number of old ferries which have lain idle and rotting for years will have to be demolished. Amongst them is the old steam ferry, the Lady Hope, which hit the headlines some 20 years ago. Hey, Joe, Australia. that's your boat I was telling you about. The hero of the day was 12-year-old Josh Davidson. Josh used to ride the ferry to school every morning. And hey, Mr. Davidson, is that you? Ago. Yes, Ben. He was late but and it was a long time ago. Board. Halfway across the harbour, he noticed a dinghy capsized, the occupants of which couldn't swim. He rushed to the wheelhouse and alerted the skipper, Captain Playfair. The Lady Hope swung about, and while Captain Playfair and his engineer, Mike McDuff, dived into the rescue, Josh manned the wheel. A brave action by a brave boy. I spoke today to the retired skipper of the Lady Hope. I remember it like it was yesterday. That brave boy, Josh Davidson, held the Lady Hope alongside us as a terrible storm was blowing up. Brave. He was very brave. Mind you, we knew lots of lads like him on the Lady Hope. Different breed. People today are so different. No time to stop and help someone. As a postscript to that story, the Maritime Transport Commission today announced that as a tribute to the Lady Hope, they would be naming one of the new hovercraft the Lady Hope. So old ferries never die, they just fade into the history books. Don Hawkins for Newsbreak. Isn't that nice, Josh, that they remembered? Come on, Spex. Hey, it was a great old boat, wasn't it, Spex? Yes, it was. I didn't know your father was famous. He's not. But the guy on the telly just said he was a hero. Yeah, well, that was a long time ago, Ben. I'll show you our ferry when we get to the city, Spex. Ever seen it? Come on. Let's go. The Lady Hope, a 30 tonne steamer, was built in 1902. Since then, she's carried many important people, among them King George VI when he was Duke of York, the Duke of Gloucester, the Duke of Windsor, and the King and Queen of Thailand. Thailand, that used to be Siam in those days. Oh, yeah, but everybody knows that. Did you? Um, well... She took nine weeks to build, but then they had to wait three months for engines to come from England. Here, give me that. Three months? Today you could do the trip in a day. In a plane? That's right. She was a graceful little steamer with an open bridge deck, gently raked funnel, and a sheer line worthy of a yacht. You know, I bet the lady's going to be one hell of an amazing boat. Oh, yeah, Joe, that really is one hell of an amazing boat. How about we forget it? Since we're here, we shouldn't speak to it properly. Uh oh. You wouldn't read about it. I put ten bucks on this horse, see? And it's asleep. Leaning on the barrier. <laughs> so by the time it wakes up, the race is over. I reckon the jockey had to use a lantern to find his way back to the stable. God. <laughs> yeah. Carol, they're knocking off for the day. What time is it? Half past three. 11.35 a.m. in Singapore. Hey, cut it out. Are you going up the pub? There's a dog bark. You coming too, Carl? Uh, uh. Quick nature call. <laughs> You've got a Japanese bladder, mate. Yeah. Always tell a fellow with a bad kidney. <laughs> Yellow sand shoes. <laughs> Don't wait. Come on.
their history. Perhaps they don't know that. Who? The grown-ups. What if we care so much? Why don't we do something about it? But what do you think we should do? We go see the people who own the lady. We put enough pressure on them to make them leave her alone. Hey, wait for me. We're certainly going to have our time cut out with those heavies. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's very clever, Joe. You should write that down. I'll go fly your kite. Your childish impulsive behaviour is only exceeded by your vulgarity of expression. Specs, I'm going to flatten you. Maritime Transport Commission. That's in Collins Street. Of course it is. What about it? Uncle Harry works at the MTC. He'll help us. He's really high up in the MTC. Listen, what are you doing here? You're supposed to go to my place. It's about the Lady Hope. You want to go? Wait, 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 You're very high up in the MTC. He's quite right. If I was any higher, I'd be on the roof. <laughs> can you help us, sir? Yes, of course. Well, you, well I, I can use my influence if necessary. But first, I think you should go and see Porky. Porky? Who's Porky? Mr. Trotter. He's the chief marine surveyor. The only thing is... What? Porky hates two things. The first thing is old boats. And the second thing is kids. Never! No way! Forget it. <laughs> what do you think we are running here? Huh? A museum? <laughs> I'm not having some jerry-built heap of prehistoric junk cluttering up the harbour, breaking down every three minutes, ruining my sleep. <sighs> ruining his sleep? Oh, yes. Throwing good money after bad. Taxpayers' money. <laughs> We're accountable, you know. Accountable, you know. Is there an echo in here? Now, I want all of you kids out of here in 30 seconds. <clears throat> oh, that's a pity, then. Father won't like it a bit. Father? Whose father? Whose father? My father. Your father? My father. Professor George Heathershaw. He's on the Historical Preservation Society with the Prime Minister. The, 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 the Prime, Prime Minister? The, 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 the Prime Minister? The Prime Minister. Oh, you are menial. Is this true about Heathershaw and the Prime Minister? Perfectly true, sir. Promise them anything, sir. They're going to start breaking up that old tub in two days. Bamboozle them for two days, and it'll be too late. Ah. Well, children, children. <laughs> oh, I love children. I was a child once myself, you know. <laughs> well, now, in view of your <clears throat> public spirit and your noble sentiments, we'll see what we can do for you. <laughs> oh, then. 
Mr. Penn, you numbskull. Uh, pen. Uh, oh, sorry, sir. A pen. Pen? Ah. Oh, you see, it isn't my fault, really. It's the minister. All he's doing. But I'll tell you what I'll do. Now, if you know what this is, children, it's a letter to the Minister of Transport asking him to do nothing about the Lady Hope for the next seven days. Time enough for us to persuade him to change his mind. I'll beg him to uh, sign it, and then he might even consider restoring the brave little vessel. And no one can touch the Lady Hope during those seven days. Now, oh, that's fair enough, isn't it? Well, I suppose you'd like to read this, but of course you can't read yet. We can read. Oh. Modern education. Marvellous. What's all this mean? Quiet, Gina. Uh, well, come back in seven days. And I'll let you know what we've achieved, if anything. Thank you, children. Thank you. Your name's not Heather Shaw. Yeah, and your old man's not a professor either. No, you lied. I never heard you lie before. They lied to me. I lied to them. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. That's very good, Joe. You should write that down. How'd it go, kids? All right, Uncle Harry. But it wasn't easy. Well, life wasn't meant to be easy, Ben. Trotter wrote a letter to the minister. They're not going to touch the lady for a week. Wrote a letter to the ministry? He wouldn't write to the minister. He's having you on. I wouldn't trust Porky as far as I can spit. Off you go, kids. I have a rather important mission to perform with our Mr. Trotter. <laughs> well, Menial, quite a clever ploy of mine. <laughs> I'm glad I thought of it. Excuse me, sir. What? Just cleaning up, sir. A little, oh, I... little trespasser. Won't keep you a moment, sir. She'll be right, Mr. Trotter. <clears throat> Come on, Alka. There we go. Thank you what very much, Mr. Trotter. Take it out. Take it out. 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 He had no intention of sending it. We all ought to go down and smash him. I'll give it to him. Oh, but Uncle Harry, he can't. You're only a clue. Man, you've got a lot to learn. Do you know who runs this government? I'll tell you. It's not the ministers or the trotters. It's us. The cleaners, the switchboard operators, the messengers, the typists, the lift drivers, the tea ladies. Without us, they're up the creek without a paddle. <laughs> Every election, they bung at a new minister, but we're here all the time. You leave it to me. First thing in the morning, the secret army goes into action. Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! Well, of course. <clears throat> of course I am. Always. <clears throat> uh, Enjoy my coochie woodsy tootsie. You too, my little chicken. Ta-da! Hey, shh, 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 settle down, not so loud. Now, this gives you seven clear days to work out what you're going to do about the lady. Good luck, kids. See you later.
What can we do in seven days? Got it. You make the lay look so good, there won't be game to scrap her. We store it ourselves. Come, Moffat, we'd be flat out painting in seven days. Yeah, but what if we get them to paint it for us? Them? Who's them? The MTC. I've seen you two lurk merchants so happy in my whole life before. But you back a winner, did you? No, boss. We were so upset about you going away on holidays, leaving no one here to look after us. We thought we'd put on a cheerful front. Because we're going to miss you, Cole. A whole week. Trying to get you right here. A week without your walk! <laughs> get out of it. Hey, Cole, would you send us a pretty postcard from Paul and Gatter? Better be finished those jobs on the board when I get back, mate. All right, we'll start tomorrow morning. Bloody mad. No opers. Both of them. Mr. Trotter. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Trotter. And, and uh, thank you very much. Lincoln Poop! We're not running a department here, we're running the bong bong picnic races. Me! He signed it. The minister signed it. Depends what sort of fairies you're talking about. It's that jobs board. I could have sworn Cole rode down to paint the Lord Jim. Now it's paint the lady, huh? I reckon it was fairies changed that board. I reckon Cole changed his mind. You reckon? Yeah. Hey, did you hear about the Irishman took his car in for service? Huh? Smashed down the church walls. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to take him a year. We've only got a few days left. They inspect it next Thursday. It's just as I thought. Well, we'll have to do it ourselves. Hey, look at this stuff. There's wire brushes, paint brushes, turps, sandpaper, steel wool. Yeah, we've got four hours of daylight left today. Four hours Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Inspection Thursday. Do you reckon we'll make it? Hey, what's wrong with that damn Sunday? We're not in a union. Here, catch. Is 
bloke standing there, eight foot six tall. Could have driven a semi-trailer between his eyes. Cane cutter from Cairns, eh? Look at it. Well, I pulled me something to be full height and I <laughs> fit him on the kneecap. <laughs> <laughs> this copper says to this Irishman, says, hey, next time dip your headlights. So he drives his car into the river. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Remember what I was saying the other day about fairies? Yeah. What do you reckon we ought to do? Demarcation dispute this is. They're pinching our jobs. How'd they like it if we ran our little green suits and pixie outs, eh? Could probably put us away for a start. Yeah, well, I tell you what, it's the principle that counts. The principle. Everybody out! Everybody out! Everybody out! Hey, Punch. We are everybody. Oh, yeah. Ben, listen, I've just had word there's a strike out at MTC maintenance. Something about non-union labour painting one of the ferries? Yeah, <laughs> good for you. Well, listen, Trot is in Canberra today, and he won't be back until Thursday morning. So with a strike on, there's no one at the lady. Right, you got it? Well, you go to it, kids. Bye. <laughs> Driver, Prime Minister's Lodge. Menial, do you believe there are mysterious forces around forces beyond our control? No, sir. I do. Oh, so do I, sir. Strange powers that move in mysterious ways, that mysteriously moved that letter out of my waste paper basket, onto the Minister's desk and back again. Absolutely, sir. Why, in the olden days, they would have blamed fairies! Driver, stop! Menial, get a newspaper. Sir, would you have a change of a fifty-dollar note? Oh! 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 G'day. No, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Porky's not here today. He's gone to Canberra. Have a bit of a moan to the Prime Minister. Mr. Mr. Trotter. Oh, uh, it's, uh, I'm, I, Dunlop, sir. Y yes, I'm new. I, I joined yesterday. No, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Trotter. Your secretary's not here at the moment. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, of course. Uh, Mr. Mr. Christian. Maintenance. Uh, tomorrow, uh, 11 a.m. sharp. At the docks. Yes, I'll pass that on for you, Mr. Trotter, sir. Oh, by the way, Harry, you don't fool me for the moment, you know. I'll have a little job for you to do when I get back. Something to get you out of the office for a while. Some real work for a change. Oh, fig, I was the Trotter. Kids, how'd it go? Listen, listen, listen. Trotter's going to be at the dock at 11 o'clock tomorrow. Him and another fellow from head office. I think they're going to condemn the lady. Creep. Oh, we're almost finished. And say that again. We start at sunup. It'll look like new by the time Trotter gets there. So that means we've got one day left to finish her off. Yeah, one day to make the lady look like... Uh, a lady! Menial, who thought up this strike? Oh, I don't know, sir. It must have been some of the men. See, they get an increase in pay. But, sir, you hate strikers, not these ones. 
What intelligence? What initiative? What initiative? Seven across. Nickname for Ethiopian camel driver. Obsolete. They go on with their painting. We don't look proper fools scrapping a newly painted ferry. Much easier to condemn a derelict old bathtub. <laughs> who sucks eggs for a living. <laughs> Come along, I'm waiting. Don't intend to wait all day. Well, it looks like a pretty little boat now, paint-wise. Mr. Trotter. Mr. Christian, hmm? the engine survey. Engine survey. Boiler, tubes corroded, firebox heavy pitting, shaft bearings excessive wear. What does that mean, layman-wise? Well, it's had it. It's shot. Fire up that old engine, you'll blow the whole boat to pieces. And you agree it would cost a great deal of money, taxpayers' money, to repair it? Thousands. Good. Sign this. What is it? Order to condemn an unseaworthy vessel. That's it. It's all over. Start scrapping it tomorrow. No way I won't sign that. What? I need the signature of a marine engineer. You! I'm not going to sign it. Mr. Christian, this is mutiny. I'm diesel, not steam. You need a marine steam engineer. Rare as hen's teeth. I want a certified marine steam engineer here this afternoon. Well, give me a couple of weeks, I should be able to dig one up for you. Two days! You've got two days! I don't think it's going to be possible! Two days! Two days! So they've declared war. Well, do we give up? No, we call for reinforcements. Oh, come on, Specs. We don't know anything about engines. This is a job for experts. Right. Hello, Hawkins. The what? Yes, I read the lady have story. Who's calling? Oh, you're Josh Davidson, sir. Yes, I do. Yeah, hang on. Uh, you got a pen? Yes, go ahead, please. Now, what do you want his address? Hello? Hello? Hang on. Home is a sailor, home from the sea. Be Gargoyle, matron. Did you enjoy your outing, Captain? Mm. Matron Gargoyle wants to see you. She wants to talk to you about discipline. Well, you know that all our little sailors must obey the rules, and you've been a very naughty boy. Codswallop! Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sprung! Captain Piper? That's me. Who are you? David Davidson, Josh Davidson's son. We'd like to talk to you, Captain. Young Josh's son? What are you doing in this graveyard of a place? And what do you mean, you want to talk to me? It's about the Lady Hope. Captain 
paper? Captain? We know you're in there. Open the door like a good little sailor. It's time for your enema. Right then. He's gone. So it must be Playfair. You apology for a captain. Well, Josh, you old rogue. Starting kindergarten, are you? Could you think of a better pastime? <laughs> Sit down. Now, what do you have? No time for that. There's always time for a grog. It's about the lady. We need your help with the lady. Don't you think these two are enough for me? The Lady Hope. The Lady Hope? They're going to scrap her unless we do something about it. Good night. Good night, sweet ladies. Good night. What do you think? I don't know. I'll have to fire her up. I heard them say something about an engine survey report. Yeah, what did they say? Something about corroded boiler tubes and the firebox. Um, pity in the firebox. And worn shaft bearings. Mm -hmm. Can we help? Of course you can help. We'll need coal. How much do you need? Whatever you can lay your hands on. Come on. Will it work? If we had more time, but two days. Ridiculous. If the engine's okay, they can't scrap her. The rest of the Lady Hope's fine. Good, solid blue garment. Hue and pine. Henry, Henry. Why are you doing this? Those kids. They care about things you can't let them down. You're right, Henry. We won't let him down. And there's another reason, too, you generally broken down pensioner. What? Because... Because we're too old sea dogs, too stupid to take the easy way out, and too pig-headed to lie down and die. I don't know. I'd like to turn her over for a few minutes. I'd like to make a little bit of noise. But it's too dangerous here. They'd be onto us in a flash. Let's tow it away. Knock off an MTC tug. Don't be stupid. I know a boat we could knock off. Leave it to me. Now, action stations. Spets, get a bow line out, ready for towing. Ben, you're coming with me, Mac. We'll be back in an hour. Crew, look lively. Aye, sir. You cast off the bow line under the star.
across, seven letters. If you had three of these, people would laugh at you. steam engineer? He's still got his certificate. That's all I need. And he'll sign the report? For two bottles of sherry and sign the Magna Carta. Hey, Mr. Trotter! A safe food restaurant! Out oh, here! What next? Get yourselves back to Uncle Harry's. Clean yourselves up and get some sleep. I don't care how he signs it. He can sign it with an X for all I care. <laughs> A 23-letter word meaning retired mule skinner with terminal acne. We've got an exclusive here. Yeah. Look, Trotter's screaming piracy. The Lady Hope has vanished and that former skipper has gone from his retirement home. Yeah, yeah. Seems to be no minor coincidence to me. And it's no coincidence that that boy rang for his address an hour before the skipper took off from Sunny Seaside. You sure it was the Davidson kid? Well, I'll back my hunches any day. There's only one way to find out for sure. Trace his parents. All right. But it won't be an easy job. Who knows where they might live? Oh, and Don. It had better be an exclusive, mate. <clears throat> I should be giving it up anyway. away for a couple of days so that we can save the lady. Is that okay by you? Can't put her back together, eh? I could put her together blindfold, but what's the point of putting back together a bunch of broken parts? Tell me what spare parts you need. And I'll go downtown and pick them up. Where from? Walworths? The Kmart? Do you think they'd be running a special on parts for a 1902 steam engine? Mm hmm. Hello? 
Oh, it's Don Hawkins from Newsbreak. Yeah, I'm trying to trace David Davidson. I'm sorry, David's not here at the moment. He's gone down to the city with some friends for a couple of weeks. Could I help you? The uh, Lady Hope has disappeared, and so has Captain Playfair. And David and his friends could be responsible, and it could be to prevent the Lady Hope from being scuttled. He and Captain Playfair have pirated her. I see. Well, I was wondering if you might be able to tell me where I could speak with David. I don't think that would be a very good idea, Mr. Hawkins. If what you say is correct, I... Could you speak up a little, please? I can hardly hear you. Hello? 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 The Lady Hope and Captain Playfair have disappeared. The kids could be responsible. Figlio del diavolo, Santa Maria, porco misere. Mamma says he's all right. I say to them, don't I get a mixed up with the underground. Mamma mia, Santa Maria. They're trying to mafia. I don't believe it. Benny. My oh, little Benny wouldn't do anything dishonest, would he? Yeah, you're right, he would. Wait till I give Harry a piece of my mind. It's no good. The lines are down and the road's flooded. What are we going to do then? That's it. Mr. Trotter, what are we going to do when we get the Lady Hope back again? That menial is why you were a clerk, grade two, and I am head of a department. <laughs> Lady Hope is gone. Do we need spare parts for a boat that isn't there? No. No. So we dump these useless spare parts in the sea. Then, when the Lady Hope turns up again, we can't repair her, can we? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Because there are no spare parts. <laughs> no spare parts. <laughs> what are we going to do? We scuttle the lady. <laughs> right. Scuttle the lady? MTC boat. <laughs> Just when we thought we had it beat. Could I, Harry Foley? Could I interest you in some boxes of engine parts? What a sight to behold. Such loyalty. Overtime, more like it. What? All the time, more like it. Loyalty, sir. Loyalty. I trust your little spell in number two depot has taught you that I'm not a man to be trifled with. I can honestly say, Mr. Trotter, sir, that I have gained a lot from this experience. Well, report. We are doing an intensive sweep search of all the outlying bays. MTC security launch here, the Pelican, Damperot, and Slacker. The water police here. These will be backed up by Dreadnought, the Thunderer, and the Venus. Boats! We need more boats! They're all out, sir! We'll call in the Navy! <gasps> yes, sir. Fools! I'm surrounded by fools. They're out there somewhere. I want every boat probing every bay. I'll find them. I'll find those hooligans. I'll find that ferry. You understand? Nobody leaves this room till I have caught those pirates, even if it takes all night. Oh. Hey, you're going to be great sleeping on the boat tonight. Oh, I am. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're in shells. Don't you understand anything, you old idiot? Like this. Ah, there you are. The spare parts, how long do you reckon it's going to take? Oh, 10 to 12 hours. There are a million people out there looking for us. Do you think it's possible, Captain, to repair the engine before we're found? That's entirely up to Mac. 
appears to be the best steam engineer in Australia. Of course, he's too old. Too old? You creaking antiquated rest home refugee. I'll too old, you kids. Bring my food to the engine room. I've got work to do. Inside information. That's it. Someone has inside information. It's an inside job. Menial! Oh. It's an inside job. Huh? You see? To paint the ferry, to move it, to hide it, you need to know about the harbor. You need to know about steam ferries. Names! I want the names of everyone who ever worked on steam ferries. All of them? All of them. Captains Booth, Brown, Cook, Farrow, Goodacre, Harlow, King, Casimir, Lawson, Playfair, Whitaker, Wesley. Most of them are dead. Good. Engineers McAdam, McAllister, McCullum, McAndrew, MacArthur, Macbeth, McBridge, McGolstein. McGolstein? McDuff, McCree. Lalana! McDuff. McDuff's Seafood Restaurant. Remember? Yesterday. Now, where was it? Casper's Bay, Catherine Bay, Honey Bay, Hal Honey Bay? Macduff's Seafood Restaurant, Honey Bay. Now, have we ever granted a license for a floating restaurant in Honey Bay? Elementary, my dear Menio, the answer's no! No? I'll send the police out there. Back, 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 back! I'll do this myself, properly, with style, with flair, with panache. Ah, they'll say. There goes Terence Trotter, the man who captured the ferry pirates. Oh, nothing famous. Parties, VIP flights, interviews, television. Knighthood. Oh, peasants, to think you could outwit me. Zero hour will be nine o'clock. Today, the Lady Hope will be recaptured. Today, Trotter will triumph. Today's the Lady Hope. Tomorrow, Zibbert. <laughs> Let him go. We've got them now. Don't worry, son. I'll get it back to you as soon as I can. Is it, Mino, the scene of my great triumph, my moment of glory? <laughs> Just look at it. They won't stand a chance. It'll be another Trafalgar. There'll be boats to the left of them. Boats to the right of them. Boats behind them. No, it's only eight. No, 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 no. They'll be here at nine o'clock. Todd has gone berserk. Mac, action station. All right, sir. Hence, Timidex. Right, I want wood, cardboard, and kindling. On the double. Come on. Ah. Ah, 
That barge you brought the spares in. The lady needs an escort. The garbage barge. A little protection against the enemy. It's true if you'll need all the protection you can get. Full head of steam, sir. Keep the fire going. Hot and strong the whole time. Right. First off, that's either the police or an ambulance come to take me back to the old men's home. So let's get moving now. Half her head. No, not yet. I haven't tested her. If she goes up, she'll blow us into the middle of next week. Mr. McDuff, am I hearing correctly? Are you saying you have no confidence in the lady? What? Listen, you jumped up water jockey. Leave it to us and you keep on pointing it in the right direction. If you haven't forgotten how. the damp rot and slacker. Don't leave me. Bloody wild goose chase. We'll carry out independent search and patrol. Ow. My boat. My boat. Oh. This never happened to no soldier. <laughs> Oh, 
Young Josh.
Ghouls, Captain. Come down to see a bunch of kids and a couple of old fools carted off to jail. Worth it? We gave them a good run. It was worth it. Captain Playfair, Mr. McDuff, David, Joe, Tina and Ben. Gentlemen, children. We are proud of you. We live in a great city, in a great country. Lucky, progressive and busy. Sometimes too busy to stop and think. Yesterday, we couldn't see much value in preserving a boat like the Lady Hope. Today, you've shown us the light. The past has as much to offer us as the future. It may have more. The Lady Hope will tell our children more about our yesterdays than a whole library full of books. We thank you for what you've done and for what you've taught us. Long may she sail! Yeah!